let's look at clarinet reeds. There's a couple of things that are useful to know about clarinet reeds if you're a teacher working with students. One is kind of what brand names you might recommend to your students, and also what strength your students should play on. And I want to talk about both of those things. When I go into schools and do workshops, I often find students are playing on a reed that's softer than is ideal for them. So it's important that you have a good handle on what reed strength is going to work with your students. For beginners, it is a good idea for them to start on a softer reed. And by softer, it means it's less resistant. It's kind of easy for them to blow. Usually, I recommend a two. And there are many different manufacturers of reeds out there. I'm going to tell you some of my personal recommendations that I use. And this is just my own opinion. There's lots of good reeds out there. But I have seen some reeds that are kind of mass produced um, that are not so good and I think are a detriment to the students. So we do want to make sure you're recommending a, a reputable kind of solid brand. Personally for beginners, I think Rico makes some good reeds. Rico Royal are good. I really like the Mitchell Lurie reeds. Um, I know Van Doren has a beginning level reed that's also quite good. So kind of sticking with one of the well-known manufacturers is a really good idea because you don't want the reed to be the thing that makes a student frustrated and is going to get them to quit. And I'll also talk about a different kind of reed. There are some synthetic reeds out there. They're made out of plastic and I think out of the plastic reeds, the one that I've tried that I like best is the Legere reed. I know there's other ones out there as well. Um, a synthetic reed, in my opinion, has some advantages. One is that they're quite durable, they last a long time. For a total beginning student, maybe especially one who might not be attuned to the fact that their cane reed has gotten old and is worn out, or that kid that's going to play one reed all year no matter what, the synthetic reed's a good option because it's not going to warp, it's less likely to chip, it's going to be on there, and it's, it's for many students, a really good option. Personally, I think a really good cane reed still produces a better sound, but the synthetic ones have the advantage of being reliable, consistent, and so there are pros and cons to both. Sometimes I'll use a synthetic reed if I'm switching instruments in a pit doing a musical or something like that and an instrument has to sit a long time and I'm worried my reed might warp, so I do use them. If I have a really important performance and I have time to break it in and get a reed wet, then I'll use a cane reed. Now, Students should naturally progress to a stronger reed strength as they get better at using their air and their embouchure in a more mature shape. The biggest problem I see is kids on a reed that's too soft and where you can diagnose this is in listening to their high notes. A soft reed is just going to wimp out. I'm going to demonstrate what that sounds like. And I'm not going to sound very good. I'm going to warn you, this will be a bad sounding demonstration, but it's probably a sound that will help you recognize this if your students do anything like this. If your students are playing in the high register, I have them start on their high C, all fingers down, and have them tonguing. Tonguing is better because it's more sensitive than slurring, all the way up to the high C thumb and register key. If their reed's too soft, they're going to sound flat, squawky, and you're going to find there's a delay to the notes, a weird undertone, and some of the notes might not even play at all. That's what I mean by wimping out. So here is a soft reed sound. That's classic soft reed symptoms. It's like the easiest way to recognize when your student's on a reed that's too soft. So if you hear that, Odds are they should go up at least half a strength. I have some very loose guidelines that will help you as a teacher to know what you should be recommending to your students. As a beginner, a two. As they first start to play in the high register, a two and a half is easier because high notes, being more sensitive, will work better if we're using really fast air. And you want to teach your students to use fast air as quickly as you can. So as soon as they're learning those notes, they need to be using fast air and they need the resistance of a stiffer reed. So two and a half minimum. When we go up to at least a high G and higher, we're going to want at least a three. Now, students will eventually level off somewhere between a three and a four, depending on what kind of mouthpiece they have, what kind of setup they have. But usually, when a student's at the end of their second year of playing, they're probably ready for a three. So that's just, um, you know, people will vary from individual to individual, but that gives you as a teacher some guidelines on what strength your students should be using. 
As far as brands go beyond the beginner level, there are lots of good high-end reads and really everyone has different preferences. I myself play on several different models of reads and sometimes it depends on the weather, it depends on what's available in my local store when I'm buying them, but um, good reads to consider. Van Doren makes a lot of great reads. Um, I like the V12s, I like the Rue 56. A lot of my students use the V21 because they kind of fit in between sizes of others. Daddario makes some great reads. They have Reserve and Classic, and a lot of professional players use those and like them. I really like the Stoyer reads. I play on the Stoyer Exclusive quite a bit. So there are lots of reads out there, and, and I imagine most professionals do actually play on a variety of reads. So there's not one great read for all people, but finding the right strength is really important. And just encouraging your students to have a read that is good quality will definitely make a difference to their sound.